this will be the country's final news report. The economy has tanked, and it's everyone for themselves. I personally have prepared for such an emergency, and will be living in a cabin I built for myself in the woods that has everything I need. So as my final words to you, I will say, so long, suckers! <laughs> all right, everyone. Down on the ground, give me all your cigarettes and booze. Oh, this is just ridiculous. Now I'll never know who wins the playoffs. Charles, what are we going to do for food? Food? I thought we'd go to your mother's house and raid her refrigerator. We're in a collapsed economy, Charles. Nobody has food. Oh, yeah. And what about our little girl? Who? Our daughter. Oh, yeah. Good thinking. We could sell her to some scumbag for food. Is she even pretty? We're not trading our only daughter for anything. Now be serious. I am serious. I don't remember if she's pretty or not. It would make selling her a hell of a lot easier. I can't believe you'd give away our daughter for some food. At least I'm thinking of ideas. I haven't heard a smart thing come out of your mouth since we tied the knot. And don't let me calling you a smart mouth confuse you. Get rid of me, will you? One day, when you're not looking, it will be me who gets rid of you. Sure, I don't mind working on the outside of the ship. Again. Uh, the sooner we get to this planet, the better. Uh, I should really start standing up for myself. I don't want to make everyone mad either. I just charged this thing, stupid tool. Come on. It Demons? Oh, double dealer. Yeah, and I think I faced enough demons for one day. I mean, you using the toilet immediately after Patrick? Big mistake! Whoops. I might have a medical condition. <laughs> well, you gotta, we appreciate your spiritual wisdom and all, but wasn't it the blind man who said, Hey, who moved the couch? <laughs> Wait a minute. Shadow, I think I understand now. Everything is connected. So when we're arguing with other people, we're really just arguing with ourselves. Nah, don't be an idiot, Patrick. Nothing's connected. It's all just chaos. Oh, okay. Hey, wait a minute. I just thought of another question. Does anyone else think that dog food tastes a lot like cat food? Yeah, call me crazy. But I'd rather not think of my everlasting soul being connected to Patrick's crusty socks. I have a sudden urge to give up all my worldly possessions. And stay out of my sock drawer. Wait a minute. That's not sign language. of a story. I remember it like it was 30 years ago. I was sitting on the couch with my father watching cartoons. 
My mother was in the kitchen, making her famous stuffed rats. My father was thirsty. Uh, hey, wife! More beer, please! Unsurprisingly, this irritated my mother. Get out! I'm more than your servant! Oh, yeah? Was that before or after you washed my dirty underwear? <laughs> 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 Obviously a humorous man. And more ketchup for my rat nuggets, please. <laughs> <laughs> and we laughed until the next morning. <laughs> and to this day, we have a great relationship. Uh, what happened to your mother? Gee, you know, I'm not sure. One day, while holding a briefcase, she yelled, I never want to see any of you guys again! And we never saw her again. <coughs> Abandonment issues? I just said my father and I have a great relationship. What? Maybe Shadow was right. Forgiveness would free me of my pain. But do my parents deserve forgiveness? Stripping me of my self-respect? Making me think the people I called friends were just humoring me? Floating here in the cold, dark, empty space is unforgivingly fitting. I remember feeling happy and playful. But my parents just made fun of me. Where did the years go? How much time have I wasted feeling sorry for myself? Why couldn't I have just been someone else? But I shouldn't think like that. I want to overcome this. I will overcome this. I will persevere. I will never ever let anything make me feel trapped again. Oh. So in conclusion, never do a hooker's laundry. Wow, you learn something every day. Every day? Jeez, I am way behind. Wait a minute. This reminds me of a story of that time I did learn something. You guys want to hear the story? Not really. It all started back in grade school. No. I was running late to my triangle music class, which is odd because I'm usually so punctual. Oh boy, late again. Hey, I said I'm usually punctual. Uh, I mean, this never happens. Now in those days, I had an arch rival. His name, of course, was Henry Winklestein. Now, Winklestein has been first triangle for three years in a row. The very position I've been working my beak off for. Night after night, I practice trying to get my triangle skills up to par. But they were never as good as that damn Winklestein's. Anyway, we had an important concert coming up, and I knew I wouldn't be noticed with Winklestein on the roster. So I decided to take matters into my own wings. Just minutes before stage time, I snuck over to Henry's private dressing room. But when I got there, I heard some commotion, so I decided to let myself in. But when I did, I saw both Winklestein and our band teacher embracing each other, nearly naked. Uh, Patrick, this isn't what it looks like. What do you think I am, stupid? You two in here, alone? With your hand up the teacher's ass? I swear I'm 18. Please, don't tell anybody. That you're strengthening your fingers with some secret stretching exercise? Uh, yeah, that's what we are doing. Well, I'm gonna make sure your fingers never ping another triangle again. Uh, what? Give me that hand of yours. Take that, you scoundrel. And as for you, fat man, I've got a scholarship to Say, you know, looking back, I never actually found out what that secret hand exercise was. This might be a of me, but I don't think that they were exercising. Now, don't get me wrong. 
I worked hard too, twice as hard in fact, and I didn't get diddly squat. Oh, alas, I guess Winklesee was just a little better at bending over backwards. How true that is. Say, wait a minute. You don't suppose that those two were, uh, you know. Nah. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. <sighs> Starving to death is boring. Uh. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. What? It, nothing? Oh, I see. You wanna know why I drink so much? All right, gather around. I think we're already gathered. Uh, all oh, right. Uh, anyway, the story goes like this. I was about nine when my mother got fired from her pole vaulting job. Pole vaulting job? Yeah. Well, it was something with poles. Anyway, she needed to make some money, quick, so she devised a foolproof Ponzi. Okay, Emmanuel. Mommy's having a few friends over tonight, so you be a good little boy and stay in the living room. And here, I got you a pack of cigarettes. Thanks, Mama. Now, my mother was extremely organized. She had the night planned out, so when one friend was done visiting her, another one was already ready. They were usually polite, but one was particularly fond of me. Hey, kid. Over here. Yeah? You, uh, you feel like sharing some of those pills you got over there? Okay. Gee, thanks. Uh, you want some of this drink here? Okay. After my first encounter with booze and pills, I also had my first blackout. Ooh. Wow, and then what happened? Well, I woke up on the floor face down with a sore butt. <laughs> the sore butt? Mm hmm. Probably happened when I fell off the couch. I gotta say, these are all fantastic backstories. What about you, Gary? Gary? Almost out of oxygen. Looks like this is the end for old Gary. God, if you're real, I could really use your words right now. Oh, there he is. What's he doing out there? I'll use the intercom and ask. God, if you could just give me one sign that my life was worth living. Gary. Hey. Ah. Uh, stupid. God, is that you? Give me that. Hey, Gary, yeah, it's God, talking through the intercom. Through the intercom? Wow, you really are one of us. Uh, Gary, it's Manny. Now, uh, what the hell are you doing? Uh, I slipped earlier and I think that I've drifted too far from the ship. You guys might have to go on without me. Gary, we can see you. Just turn around and jet propel yourself back over here. A signal from that planet's getting stronger. This thing has jet propellers? Oh, you have got to be kidding me.